Hello, welcome to Multiplication with Touchpoints. This is Ms. Petri. Um, all of the students in our classroom have this touchpoint strip on their home folder. Um, you will notice that each dot, each number, excuse me, has dots that obviously correspond to that number. So the number three has one, two, three dots. The number five has one, two, two three, four, five dots. Once we get to the six, it looks a little different here. Um, each dot has a circle. That means that you touch that point twice. So it would go one, two, if I three, have the four, problem five, six. Four. So times for example five, with the nine where we it is easier for students to count by fives generally than their fours. So most students would probably choose to put their touch points on the four because you want to put your touch points on the tricky number, the one that you don't feel comfortable skip counting by. So I put those touch points on my four and then I skip count by fives while touching those points for five, 10, 15, 20. So four times five would be 20. Um, other students who have difficulties, for example, with copying these touch points from their strip onto these numbers and doing it with accuracy the and might the find it these easier just to go to, to the strip to help um, solve you might be wondering, well, what about memorizing facts? Isn't that important? And yes, absolutely. That is what we are working towards. Our end goal is always fluency with multiplication of these facts, which means m memorizing our facts. Um, the great thing about touch points is that it's an intermediate step. So for students who, tr who struggle with memorization, we have found that when they learn how to use touch points now, when they get to fourth grade and fifth grade, if they don't have their facts memorized, they're really going to struggle when they're doing multi-digit um, multiplication and big long division problems. That's really going to be difficult when you don't have those facts memorized. So at least the touch points off 